you welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you so tonight we are going to go and see Head Over Heels at the Hope Mill Theatre in Manchester um, never seen this musical before um, I know some of the Go Go's um, songs so really looking forward to it uh, we've actually managed to get £25 ticket because it's actually it's previewed and it's preview a few days of preview so all tickets reduced to £25 for the previews so I think we're sat on row B so yeah we're really excited so obviously we'll show you to the theatre um, I don't think they'll have merch but I think they'll have a programme and obviously I'll show you our view and everything and then we'll review the show when we get home so yeah I hope you enjoyed this little video Lunch. Had a quick look around Primark before I came here. I'm just gonna say lunch, dinner. Gonna have my dinner, and then Lauren should be meeting me, and then we're gonna head to the theatre. So hopefully Lawrence is on this tram, because the next tram is due in like two minutes. So hopefully he's gonna get off here. So he wasn't on that one. So we'll have to wait for the next tram to. Yeah. Mm. He was on that tram the whole time. Yep. Uh. <laughs> Here's the tram now. We only have to go one stop and then we're there, so should be plenty of time because it's not even seven o'clock yet. Here we are, we've arrived now. We've got like 20 minutes before it starts, so yeah, not too long to wait.
Okay, we're just at the tram stop now, waiting for the tram. We got how long? Six minutes? Uh, did you enjoy it, Laura? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The story was a bit hard to follow, of course. Yeah, but uh, it's the language that we use, and that's what I found hard. Mm. Yeah, it was really good, but we'll tell you more about it when we get here. Well, I will. Lawrence will be going to bed. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> Hi, so we are now back from the theatre. Lawrence has had to go straight to bed because he's in work at 5am in the morning so he needs to be up about 4, probably about quarter to 4 so he's gone straight to bed. But I thought I'd just tell you a bit about the show. So obviously we went to see Head Over Heels which is on at the Hope Mill Theatre. We went to a Saturday evening showing. The showing that we went to was a preview so the tickets were only £25 it was a preview showing um we were sat on row b c three and four um usually they would have been 42 pounds each those seats because it was in previews they were only 25 pounds so we're real lucky <laughs> um because we couldn't afford to pay 42 pounds for them so i'm so glad we managed to go to the preview showing and the view from our seats was really good. The thing about the Hope Mill Theatre is it's a really small theatre, so you get a good view wherever you sat. I mean, when we went to see Cinderella, we sat at the very back, and we had a really good view there. And those seats at the very back, I think, usually about £27. So to be honest, if I ever went to the Hope Mill Theatre, I would probably just always sit at the back because we can't afford to pay the really expensive prices. Um, and you get just as good. You get just a good view. Still a good view at the back, so... Um, if you go and you can't afford to sit at the front, just sit at the back because your view is still really, really good. So I did pick up a programme. There were programmes for this performance. Obviously there's no merch. I don't think the Hope Mill Theatre ever have merch for their shows, um, but some shows do have programmes. So, oop, so I picked up a programme. This was £4. There isn't a lot in it. It's a very thin programme, um, but it does have some information. So I'll go through that later. Um, so there was actually a stand-in for the show that we went to see. Um, the show actually, the day before our show, actually got cancelled due to cast illness. So we were so glad that our show was actually going ahead. Um, so they actually had a stand-in for Pamela. Um, Pamela is usually played by Jenny O'Leary. Um, but one of the ensemble members um, was taking over the role for this um, one. She only had 24 hours notice so she did go on with the script in hand um, but she was so good, she was really really good considering that she only had 24 hours notice and obviously had to have the script with her. She performed it really good and her voice was amazing as well and her name was Marina Tavaleri, I think that's how you say her second name but she, she was amazing, she was really really good. Also, the director, Ton Jackson Greaves, he actually performed as part of the ensemble, um, obviously because Marina is usually ensemble and she was playing Pamela. So he joined the ensemble for some of the um, dances, so he was in the show as well. So the production of Head of Hears at the Hope Mill Theatre is actually the European um, premiere of the show. It's not been performed in Europe before. Uh, that I know of, I'm pretty sure it hasn't, pretty sure I read that it was the European, European premiere of the show. And the show is running at the Hope Mill Theatre from the 26th of January to the 4th of March. Um, the shows from the 26th of January till the 29th of January are preview performances. The show starts properly on the 30th of January. So the show is actually based on the book, um, the Arcadia um, by Sir Philip Sidney uh, and the show was originally written and conceived by Jeff Whitty adapted by James Magruder. So this show was uh, directed and choreographed by Tom Jackson Greaves and like I said he actually performed in the show as part of the ensemble. So all the songs in this show are by the um, rock group, it's an all-female rock group called the Go-Go's and um, I knew I knew some of the songs but when I was listening Obviously to the show I realised I actually knew a lot more of the songs than I thought I did and 
the songs are really really good and um i really i definitely really enjoyed the music in this show um yeah um the songs were great and like i said i knew more of the songs than i thought i would have so the show tells the story of the royal family of arcadia who go on a quest to save their kingdom and stop it from losing its beat and the beat is sort of like their divine power that ensures the kingdom's prosperity. The royal family consists of King Basilis, um, Queen Dancia, and their two daughters, Pamela and Philoclea. So the daughter Philoclea is considered like the plain one, um, just an ordinary looking, whilst Pamela is considered to be the most beautiful woman in the kingdom and is often presented with many suitors, none of which she finds suitable. Um, so in the story what happens is the king gets a message from a new oracle called Pythio who asks for a meeting. So the king meets with Pythio who's a non-binary oracle and they give the king four prophecies and they and they tell him that once all the prophecies come true four flags will fall from the sky and if all four flags fall then Arcadia will lose its beat. So King Bacillus then makes his family and the royal court head into the woods in an attempt to escape the oracle's prophecies. So that is the basis of the story. So the musical at its heart is about unconditional love and acceptance and accepting people no matter of gender or sexuality. So it's a good, a good moral story in there. Um, and it's a fun, it was a fun, fun story. They do sort of speak like more like a, like a Shakespearean sort of language. So it takes a little while to get used to. Um, I think Lawrence and I got a little bit lost in the story at some places. Um, but we thoroughly enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. We enjoyed all the songs. All the songs in this are really good. Um, the acting was spot on. All the actors were, were, were really good. And... We just really loved it. I thought the choreography was good, um, the lighting. Obviously, it's a small theatre, um, so there wasn't much there set-wise, but um, the actors really managed to get the story across, even with little set and little props. Um, I just thought it was really good, and we all, we, me and Lawrence thoroughly enjoyed it. Really glad we went to see it. So I might as well show you the programme now and go through the cast list so I can see, show you who was in the show. Okay, so this is the programme. Tells you here that it's on from the 26th of January to the 4th of March. So it's got um, some adverts in here, um, some things that are coming up at the Hope Mill Theatre. And then it goes on to head over heels. So an article here telling you about the Go-Go's um, and you've got a, a note from the director and then you've got your cast biographies so Luke Bayer was Mussy Doris um, he was the love interest for um, one of the princesses for Philoclea and he was like a he was like a farmer so was considered not worthy um, of the king's daughter uh, so that's the character he played he was really good um, he had a lot to do in the show so he's been in a few things he was in Millennials at the other palace he played Mark in Rent at the Hope Mill Theatre um, so yeah he has done quite a few quite a few things he was in everyone's talking about Jamie the original cast so yeah he's been in quite a few things you can see there and then playing Philoclea was, was Maya Kwanzaa Breed she actually played Mimi in the performance of Red at the Hope Mill Theatre she played Catherine Parr in Six the musical um, so those are some of the things that she's done then you've got Is Hetskiff she played Hifio, she's played Margot in Legally Blonde, the Regent Park's Open Air Theatre. She's played Angel in Rent at the Hope Mill Theatre. Um, so yeah, done a few things as you can see there. Then you have Fed Zanni playing Basilius. He's played Nikos in Mamma Mia The Party. 
who's a soloist in the 12 Tenors European Tour. Um, so yeah, that's some of the stuff he's done. Then you have Julie Stark playing Denisa. So she's been in We Will Rock You in the West End. And she played Meatloaf and Killer Queen in that. She's been in Bat Out of Hell uh, in London. She's been in Priscilla Queen of the Desert. So yeah, she's done quite a few things. Then we have Jenny O'Leary who was supposed to play Pamela. But she was ill, so we had this uh, stand-in from the ensemble. Jenny has played the Killer Queen in the We Were Rock You UK tour. Lawrence actually saw her when he went to see it at uh, the Palace Theatre last year on the tour. Um, I didn't see her because um, she was ill then, actually, and we had the understudy on. So I didn't see her, but Lawrence did see her, and he, and he said she was really good in that. She's also played... Martha in Heather's the Musical. She's been in Rent, the UK tour. So yeah, she's done a few things there. Then we've got Khadija Salit, Salit playing Mopsa. So a theatre critics include playing Madame Callisto in Doctor Who, The Time Fracture. She's been in In the Heights, Legally Long and Ragtime. Then we had Daniel Page playing Demetrius. Um, he was really good. He was funny. So he's been in Billy Elliot, uh, The Secret Garden, Priscilla Queen of the Desert. So he's got quite a lot of stuff that he's been in. Then we have Alison Driver. She was the ensemble and dance captain. Timo Tasba, who is also ensemble. Samuel Rootley, ensemble. Then you have Marina Tavolari. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce the second name. Um, like I said, she actually went on with 24 hours notice to play Pamela. She did have the script in hand, but her acting and her singing were amazing she was really good i absolutely loved her voice thought she was great i'm um, not sure what other things she's been in so she's been in um sister act at the uh, at the apollo in london she played the swing and cover for sister mary roberts and she was also the swing and first cover for cassie in a chorus line so she's not been in too many things yet but i would love to see her in something else um where she didn't have to have the script in hand and properly see her acting then because she was so good and like I said she had a, an amazing voice so definitely going to look out for her in other things because I think she is going to be really good and then after your cast biographies you've just got your creatives And then you've got your song list. So you've got Automatic Rainy Day, Beautiful, Cool Jerk, Get Up and Go, Good Girl, Head Over Heels, Heaven is a Place on Earth, Here You Are, How Much More. And then you've got Lust to Love, Mad About You, Our Lips Are Sealed, Skid Marks on My Heart, This Old Feeling, Turn to You, Vacation, Vision of Nowness, Nowness, We Got the Beat. And that is everything in the programme. So, Head Over Heels, I would give it four stars. Like I said, really, really enjoyed it. Like I said, did get a little bit lost in the story at some parts, which is why I didn't give it a five star. Um... But it was really good. But also have to remember that we saw it in preview. So there are some bits that they may change. Although I couldn't really see any bits really that I could see that would need changing. Um, nothing particularly that I noticed that I thought would oh, be better if they did it a different way. I just thought it was really good. Um, I always enjoy everything that Hope Mill Theatre seemed to do. I mean, I've not seen a lot there. Um, this is our third time there. But the shows that we've seen, we've really enjoyed. 
And I was always gutted that we missed seeing Rent there because Rent is one of mine and Loris's favourite musicals. And when I found out it was on, it was already sold out. And then I think it ended up getting um, closing before it, before anyway, just COVID. Uh, but that's one thing I always regret, always regret not seeing is Rent there. Um, but anyway, head over heels. Definitely go and check it out if you live in the Manchester area or you can travel down to see it because, like I said, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's on till the 4th of March, so there's plenty of time to get a ticket and go and see it. I'll leave all the information down below. I'll leave the link to the Hope Mill Theatre where you can buy tickets. Um, I'll see if Head of Heels have their own website. If they do, then I'll link that down below for you as well. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little vlog and review. If you have, please do give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe. I do try and do um, a lot of theatre vlogs on my channel and reviews. Try to go to at least one show a month. Sometimes we're looking yet to go to a few shows. So see so yeah, you next month. I am going to see Faustus, the damned woman at the Chester Story House. So I'll have a vlog going up for that next month. I'm also going to go and see Mamma Mia. And I'm also going to go to the Lion King again. So there should be a few vlogs coming next month. So if you would like to see any of those um, reviews and theatre vlogs, then like I said, please do subscribe hit the notification bell and you'll be notified once they go up so yeah, like i said i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon